holidays are quickly approaching and I'm sure you're starting to make your list and maybe you've done some shopping already. But in today's episode, I want to do something fun and I want to share with you a collection of my favorite stocking stuffer ideas for the wine lovers in your life. If you have wine lovers on your list this year and you're going to be filling some stockings, these also make great hostess gifts or if you just need a little gift for a gift exchange, these are great ideas anytime you need a smaller gift idea for the wine lover in your life. These also make great Mrs. Claus gifts if you need a treat just for yourself for getting through the holidays. So if you're ready, let's get started and we're going to be talking about stocking stuffers for wine lovers. Hi everyone and welcome to the Wine Shop Talk. I'm your host, Maya Aaron Rosar, and I'm so happy that you're here with me today. If we haven't met before, it's lovely to have you here, and if we have, welcome back. Now for those of you who are new, you should know that I've been a professional sommelier for almost 20 years now, and it's my passion and my privilege to make learning about wine not only fun and easy, but also practical, meaning I want to make sure that you feel comfortable and confident shopping for wines, not just for fancy occasions, but for everyday life. When you're making memories with family and friends, I want you to think of me as your very own practical sommelier. So today's episode is a fun one because we're going to dive into stocking stuffer ideas for wine lovers. Now don't worry because coming up in other episodes I have gift ideas for the wine lovers, the beer lovers, and the whiskey lovers in your life. So watch over the next couple of weeks depending on when you're listening to this or you can go back through the history and listen to those. And these are good any time of year but definitely through the holidays we're looking for those special gift ideas but these can be used any time of year. Now if you're watching on YouTube you're going to be able to see the images of the products that I'm talking about as we go through them. But don't worry if you're listening in podcast form, I've included a link in the show notes both for the podcast and for YouTube. They'll take you right to a document that lists all of these for you so you can have that saved to your phone, your computer, or print it off, whatever works for you. But let's get started on my first item that I think is a great stocking stuffer and I always appreciate these and these are wine discs. Now wine discs, if you don't know what they are, they look like a little foil wrap. They're a circle. They're super easy. You just roll them and you put them in a wine bottle and they're going to make sure their bottle doesn't drip. These are genius, especially if you are a red wine lover and you love white tablecloths. These are the magic ingredients that professional sommeliers and wine professionals around the world use when we have to pour red wines on white tablecloths. When we're pouring red wines on white tablecloths, they are easy. You just clean them. If you don't have wine discs, they are going to become the wine accessory you didn't know you needed and you're going to wonder how you lived without them. Number two is a glass washer and these you're going to find they look like a scrubby like you have at your sink that's on a bit of a handle because we have so many beautiful deep glasses and you just can't get in to wash them properly. So if you're hand washing your glasses which depending on the type of glassware you have is something you may want to do or it might just be your preference but one of those long handled glass washers is ideal and again this is something you're going to use all of the time once you have one. Very, very handy, especially if you're drinking big red wines and there may be some staining in the bottom of the glass. So a long handled glass washer is always going to be appreciated. Third item is a wine glass polishing cloth. These are so handy and they're just going to make your glasses sparkle. They're definitely going to take it up a notch. So highly recommend if you don't have one of these, this is a treat. It's going to make your glasses just shine and be sparkly clean, especially for the holidays, but any time of year. This is a great idea for anybody who has beautiful wine glasses to have a real polishing cloth to just give them that buff and shine and let them look brand new all over again. So wine glass polishing cloth is definitely on the list. My fourth item is an ASO wine opener. If you don't know what this is, it is ingenious and it should be in the drawer of every wine enthusiast out there. And I'm going to link to a video I did of how to actually use one. It's so easy, but they're basically a two pronged wine opener and they go in either side of the cork. These are perfect for older wines that may have dried out corks or long style corks, such as German or Italian wines. Just a different way to open up a bottle of wine, but they are ingenious. And once you have one, you're going to wonder why you didn't use this earlier. But again, I'm going to have a video down below that you can link to to watch the video of how to use it. And it's so easy, but it's a really fun and different way to open up a bottle of wine. But especially if you have somebody who's collecting bottles or aging them, then an ASO wine opener is perfect for older corks that may be drier or longer cork styles, like I said. So ASO wine opener is definitely on the list. Number five are wine tags. 
tags. Now, these are tags that are actually going to go on the neck of the bottle when you're laying a bottle of wine down. So if you have a wine rack or you're having a cellar at home, and this is just going to allow you to write on them. They're plastic. You can use a marker that you can wipe off, but it's going to allow you to have a quick view of your cellar. So if you have a wine rack and you can use a color code system on these, you can put the dates when they were purchased. You can put drink now. You can leave a note that says, don't touch this unless I'm home, whatever you want to have. But wine tags are really fun and easy way to help you keep track of the bottles in your wine rack. So wine tags, super fun and definitely handy to have if you're starting to keep more than 12 bottles at home at any time. Number six is a wine chiller sleeve. There's all kinds of different chiller sleeves out there. There's gel ones, there's ice pack ones, whatever you like, but these are the things you always think you have and then you go to get one. It's a warm summer day, you just need to keep a bottle chilled and you don't have one. So a wine sleeve, you can never have enough of them as far as I'm concerned. They're so handy, you can travel with them if you're gonna go away and you're taking some wines with you, but a chilled wine sleeve is an ideal gift Gift, and you can always put them to good use. My next one is a champagne stopper. Now, if you are a sparkling wine fan and you don't have a champagne stopper, that's no problem. You can always use tin foil. I'm a big fan of just put tin foil over top of sparkling wine, scrunch it in, and it's going to work great. But if you do want to have a more official closure, a champagne closure is a really nice accessory to have in your wine lover's drawer. Just a caveat here in regards to champagne stoppers is you really want to make sure you push down on that stopper when you put it on the bottle and clean clamp both sides in because that pressure in the bottle, even if there's a little bit of bubbles left in there, but the pressure on the bottle, even with a little bit of wine, if you don't have that champagne stopper closed tightly, it's like a clamp that goes around the bottle, then it's going to fly off into the air and you're going to have to chase that cork stopper. So champagne stopper is definitely a must if you're a sparkling wine fan beautiful to have and an extra handy accessory and a fun stocking gift for sure. And my final idea for you is to do a wine strainer funnel. Now this is a piece that goes on the top of your decanter and you're going to pour the wine into it and through it so that it aerates as it goes into the decanter. This is similar to, you may see those wine aerators, so you can put them on top of a glass and pour through. That's definitely something you can do as well. So an aerator, puts it through and this is similar except this also has a funnel in it so that it can catch any sediment. So if you are drinking big red wines that might throw some sediment, this strainer with the funnel with the strainer is going to make sure that you have that. I think a wine strainer with a funnel at the bottom of it, and again, you'll see the picture of this up on YouTube, or you can download and see it on the PDF. Now I prefer this strainer and funnel over an aerator, that's my personal choice, only because sometimes I find an actual aerator can do almost too much work and it strips some of the aromatics out of the wine. It takes it to a point that the wine is almost losing some of its aromatics is what I've found in my experience. So I prefer this. I find it's a bit more gentle, but still does the job of bringing that air into the wine so the wine can lift up and release more of its aromatics and flavors to you. And usually the strainer can come out, so if you're not worried about any sediment, it just comes out and it's no problem. Really helpful tool. It's a wonderful thing to have in your wine accessory drawer and it's a wonderful gift idea for yourself or for the wine enthusiast in your life. Let's just do a quick recap of all of the items we talked about today. We talked about wine discs. We talked about a long handled glass washer, wine polishing cloths, an ASO wine opener, wine bottle tags, a wine chiller sleeve, a champagne stopper, and lastly, the wine funnel with the strainer in it. If you're watching on YouTube, you would have the visuals. And if you're listening in podcast form, just go to the link below in the show notes and you'll be taken right to the PDF list of everything I've shared with you today. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode and that I've been able to give you some ideas for the people on your list and especially for those sometimes hard to find stocking ideas. There's some really great things on this list and these make great treats for yourself as well. So don't forget to treat you. As always, I want to thank you for hanging out with me today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss an episode. They come out every Tuesday. I want to wish you a wonderful week. Cheers, everybody. Bye now.